What's up guys, the Apple device here. Today I'll be showing you how to downgrade iOS 5.1 to 5.0. So, if you guys know about SHSH, this is what, what I'm going to be using. And I'll go ahead and show you guys that, that I'm on 5.0.1. There we go. Okay, so uh, what you want to start off doing is by downloading iFaith. I'll go ahead and right click it, run as an administrator, and uh, this will downgrade to whatever software that, that you have SHSH saved for. So I'll go ahead and show you how to, how to check what SHSH you have saved for. And I'll run it. You can't transfer SHSH from one device to the other because it's unique to every single device. One iPhone and another iPhone, they will both have different SHSHs. Doesn't matter the generation, doesn't matter anything. So what you want to do is click the first one, build sign SHSH. I have another video on how to save your SHSH if you ever in the future want to downgrade to the software that your device is running on. I'll go ahead and have that video somewhere in the annotations. But as of now, I'll show you how to downgrade, not save. So go ahead, click on... Um, Build sign IPSW. What you want to do is find the SHSH your device or the SHSH you saved for your device. If you don't have, if you don't know what you have saved for your device, what you want to do is click uh, the set the second one on the left. Show available SHSH caches on server. You go ahead, make sure your device is plugged in. It'll start doing its job. And then for my device, I have iOS 5.0 and 5.0.1. I'll go ahead and show you guys. Right there. What you want to do, if you want that software, you go ahead, click download. You find where you want to download it and just download it. I don't need this because I already have it downloaded. This is how you check if you have SHSH on file and if you'll be able to do this. I'll have the link for this uh, download, iFaith. Okay, so you want to click on the first one. Build, sign, okay. You want to find the SHSH blob that you've saved and that you want to downgrade to. In my case, it's, fi it's iPod Touch 5.0. Okay, and then you gotta find the IPSW for that software that you want to downgrade to. You can either download it and it'll find the link for you and download it. See, I'll go ahead and go back to menu. I'll sorry about that. I'll start it all over. Okay, download it, uh, but I already have it downloaded, so I'll go ahead and just find it. And then, five touch 4G 5.0. It'll start to verify and start to build it. Okay, build. Once this process is complete, I'll go ahead and get back. Okay, once it's done building, the IPSW will be on your desktop. You want to go ahead and click proceed. And you, you'll have to do these steps. I'll get back once I've done them. Okay, now it's going to be running iReb. Once it does that, it's going to be pwned. Now what you want to do is exit out of this. Make sure your device is still plugged in. Black screen, but your computer should detect it. Open up iTunes. So your computer detects it, detects it as in recovery mode. You click shift key, the shift key on your on your your keyboard, and click restore. And what you want to find is the IPSW file it made. So I'll get back to you once it's all done.
So it just successfully restored it. Go ahead, set up as iPod. Disable. Next. Continue. Then go into settings. General. About right there. 5.0. Successfully restored. Downgraded. So guys, um, Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, I have a giveaway going on. I'm giving away this exactly iPod Touch. I'm giving it away. It has both SH SH is saved, so you can downgrade either to 5.0, 5.0.1. So uh, I have a giveaway. I'll have it in the link's description. So check that out. I'll catch you guys in the next video.